coming in. Oh my god, I can't. I thought that was a satire thing, and it turned out Me to be too. real. Me too. That's great. All right, so what's not so satire is the proper way to want to win, and if you want to win, like a Samus character online. So we got Dark Samus on one side versus Falco on the other. Uh, DNA is Falco, and Psycho might go as Dark Samus. This matchup actually seems like on paper, like it'd be super polarizing uh, in favor of Falco. But honestly, I kind of don't see how Dark Samus has excessive problems in a mid-range way on a stage like this, especially short hop, uh, uh, using short hop tethers. I feel like in a vacuum, Falco has every tool that can give Samus trouble. Exactly. But the problem is Falco's neutral is just like so linear and like, I'm going to land on you and then I'm going to up tilt. Like Samus doesn't really, isn't really scared of that. You know, I mean, as we say that, like, I, I definitely think that there's some things that Samus, the, the Samus just can kind of do, but DNA showing exactly why we said on paper this matchup looks like it'd be very polarizing because it's just, just staying in, using short hop uh, down Bs, uh, that, that frame one reflector just to shut down any type of zoning attempt and, and really just comboing the hell. This, this has been very much DNA's favor at the start. Yeah, Falco's the almost the king of prolonged advantage state, and the existence of a uh, one of a few op one of the few characters that has a frame one reflector mm -hmm. really making uh, Psycho Micro rethink a lot of his projectile usage. Which oh, that, that alone... spike would have been a great reversal on that edge guard attempt there. Uh, so it, if you look deep uh, deep into the lore of uh, like high end FGC players, they'll tell you that fighting games are actually just turn based RPGs. And Falco's the embodiment of that. <laughs> yeah. Until you happen to uh, go on recharge on landing and that <laughs> that charge shot's going to take the stock out. But finally, you on the board for Psycho Michael. Yeah, I get a, a, lot of the, a lot of the advice that I hear about whenever confronting uh, donors with Zaners, great boxing tools, uh, characters like Rob and Sam and the, It's like, don't let the, them the just range. keep taking well, their Aria turn. Just does not um, be it's aggressive just sometimes and make, tell them with your gameplay, no, it's my turn to play now. I am a huge fan of how much DNA pushes the initiative, especially off stage, Because, like, every time you're off stage uh, with a character that's kind of fully in recovery, you... you We'll think, okay, I have good jumps, I can maybe make it back. And then you get pressured to hell by someone who could also stay out there with you, but faster. So it, it makes Psycho Michael have to play perfectly while trying to recover. Yeah, and DNA's using his double jump to great effectiveness. Like he can stay right alongside Samus and catch her as she B reverses up in the air like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, stream pause. Yeah, meanwhile, Psycho Michael, like, trying try his best to, to, to stay in it. it, it like, I, I think against most game, like, he's playing the game plan properly like he would against... Oh, there you go. The last time missed the dare, but the back is going to end up getting a reversal. Uh, so I, I kind of like the way that he's gone a little bit away from the same zoning approach as before. And, oh, that's going to be a hard punish. That At least fading in, only taking a down smash. This is in no way, shape, or form over, though. Look at the the pressure string right there. And as of uh, one of the uh, the spaces, you do have to worry about that linear recovery. We have another stream pause, but right now, forced off stage. Yeah, spaces have always been one of those characters, one of those uh, archetype of characters where it's like, you know, they have so many great tools and so many aspects of the game, but they're also the most susceptible to comebacks and to cheese just with their linear recoveries and uh, exploitable patterns. But that up smash is going to catch the neutral getup and take the stock and for game one going to DNA. Yeah, DNA playing excellently in that game. Again, one of the big things that you notice in how he handled the matchup, just constantly pushing that pressure off stage, even after getting reverse edge guarded and al well, almost twice. Uh, really able to just kind of make sure that there was no point in time where you could see um, a free recovery and being scared to disadvantage as Samus, where you normally want to go for those B reverse cancels. It, it really makes you uh, second guess your neutral, which is really bad. Yeah, especially as Samus, a primarily neutral character. So great stuff to DNA, making him like just always second guess a lot of his off stage options. He would commit frequently just to uh, uh, use use the bombs to stall just to see how dna was going to react and if you're playing 
playing on the back foot like that off stage deep like uh, like psycho micro found himself in frequent situations then it's only a matter of time agreed uh now one thing i do like uh that psycho micro did towards the end there uh you saw how there, there was there's a bit of uh, a, a stray away from zoning and more a focus on option coverage and almost actually brought the game completely back just from like two strings reading an air dodge uh covering landings with the, the like the short chop shot expect ex uh, instead of the full so let's see how the change goes i kind of like the idea of town and city because you don't get the fd pick but you do get a layout that's relatively good for you like so trying to look for the reset but uh, I, I like the idea of just air dodging in. You don't take too much damage with that if you do even get caught there. Pivot Grab going to put Falco back into his arguably worst situation, but spot dodging the pretty uh, pretty slow uh, dash grab of Salmon, to say it nicely. Yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's something you just don't want to make sure you commit to, but it's uh, definitely something very punishable if you... I completely forgot you can... Um just short hop down B off the ledge like that. Don't think about what you can do to recover there. Yeah, yeah, Luckily, it's... lag not making a play in the efforts of trying to recover their DNA. Yeah, luckily you don't have to do anything like too, too <laughs> input intensive with someone like Falco, where it's just like more a matter of when you recover, not how you do it, I guess. Mm. Yeah, true. You you get put in animation pretty much from once you free buffer the shot uh, that not be like so. So it's not as bad. You just need to make sure your angle is good. But that short hop fair is going to end up taking what was a very hard first stock uh, from both players. Uh, doing a great job there. Make sure to hold forward through these multi hits, not retreating and losing the losing the final hit and potentially losing out on a lot of damage. Sails right over that charge shot. Oh, you saw DNA was looking for that short hop down air there, but actually just going to miss. Trying to look for the morph balls and still committing to. I like the fact that Psycho Michael's still committing to it even after getting reflected away a couple times, because you don't want to be the one who's going for a ledge trap and being afraid of your own ledge trap just because of somebody like getting you with that once in a while. Up throw gonna take it finally at 173. That up throw, man, so strong. It's such a cool animation too. <laughs> like oh, you're literally just getting your ass burnt by <laughs> the bottom of the cannon and you just get launched out. They took Wait, our S smash animation and made it a throw. Sick. Yeah, just get your face sliced in half by the forward smash from Falco. Getting the grab, but a great tech on that center platform to avoid the, the potentially like over 60% uh, string that could have come out from that. Yeah, good job on Psycho Michael canceling that uh, too, because that reflector was about to send that damage right back. Oh my god! Okay, the more falls oh, no. stop it. Yeah, that's that is exactly what Psycho Michael could have hoped the best case scenario for. Uh, DNA looking for. Uh, and end it all string, but unfortunately he's gonna end up missing due to the clank on that down B, but just restarting the game all over again. Yeah, DNA picking up right where he left off with some of these combo conver end conversion. Waiting for his chance and he's, he's getting so much mileage off of these rising fares uh, right on the lead. Psycho Micro using neutral get up plenty of time, but not in position to cover. Oh, that there. forward smash just barely missed there too on the trade. Oh, oh, yeah, he's looking for the roll, but uh, not going to get hit while going for the fair. Is that back here going to finally do it? Yes, it is. That's yeah. going to be a 2-0 going to DNA. It's a strong back air. It's a pretty, dare I say, a nice back air. Oh, my God. It, it just made me think about, like, for I know people hate when we bring up Smash 4, but, like,